okay guys um this is um day five part one right i totally now figured out the numbering all right so you can click here to see the um, previous videos where we talked about this one and probably the more previous one where we talked about this one all right so in this task we have to talk about the get emv function function <laughs> sorry um if you are a returning um subscriber i really appreciate you for keeping to this point so if you've seen all the videos to this point i want to appreciate you and just drop a comment um on the comment section so i can give you a reply and if someone has a question they can also get to you okay so um and if you are just joining you can subscribe and yeah welcome to the family so we have um write a function that gets an environment variable so this get emp actually help you get um what is stored in a particular environment variable right but we are not we are to write that function but that does that right without using the get emv function so we have to use something like the get emv function it returns a pointer to a string actually and um, that's what get emv does so we have to write something that does that so we should mentally get emv let's see what it does and then we will be able to replicate it so what i will first do is i will test it the get emv function okay i'll test the get emv function and i would replicate it and then test with it right that pinch each directory content so i think um for this okay let's just do this first and then next video we'll talk about this ones so what are we doing um let me see into my let's see okay this time that's frozen. Um, so um, get emv function. So it's just accept a um, character, right? And then it turns a, a pointer to a string. Okay. So a string. It the accept the string and then put it on this. So I'm waiting for this guy to load. That's why I'm just. All these things this thing just fucks up where you need it the most uh, mm -mm. all right so we are back <laughs> finally all right so show tutorial early so I'm supposed to put all this in a in a in a repo so I'm, I'm gonna do that as well uh, probably after this video I'm gonna quickly create a repo and don't be there all right while that while that is ongoing um so we have to do the get env so let's first monthly get env right so what does this does it is included in the standard library right so that's the um guy so it collects a it returns a character pointer collect a, a character right it's constant because you won't be changing it right and then um, there's another one secure get env anyway okay so the get env function searches the environment list to find the environment variable name and returns a pointer to the corresponding value string okay so um, that's just basically what we need and um, what the get env does okay you can also read um, okay i think that's all okay so um when you look at it the um the environment will have a name and value so we're just getting the value by passing the name into the get here all right so let's see how that works so if i say um print env that's to print environment variable we we'll see all the environment variable right look at them and let me scroll up and see if i will have some so look at the home for example the it's saying that when we are talking about the home it is root if i do pwd it means um currently in my shell tutorial right so let's try home most times they're in capital letter right so let's try home and see sorry yeah. Yeah. so if i do print env and then say home for example 
so it's going to tell me what is inside my home right so is this value that i want to get by um get emv right so let me let me create get emv the normal get emv right so let me do that so i'll just include my standard i uh, my standard um, include I'll include my standard library dot h as well so that will be all so I have my int main and I have my void and this okay good so what we'll do is want to use our get emp function I get emp returns a character pointer so let us say uh, home right home home value right so we we'll just say okay equals to then we we'll just call our get env and then we we'll pass it the character so i'll pass it home so i want to get the content of home right this get env function will return a pointer to a string that's to the value right that is inside home right so uh, anything inside home is going to so we'll just print out this guy out all right so with that we'll know how it works so let me just give this one space and then print f <coughs> so excuse me and i would say i can give this guy void for now to so say i'm not returning anything Right, and then um, end on this guy. I'll say percent s because it's a string, and then home value. Home value, we've already seen our home, which is um, which is uh, what's it called root, right? So we'll see if it's gonna print root when we execute this guy. So we'll just say GCC the output as get. EMV right and then get EMV dot C okay and then let us run our get EMV alright so we printed our roots I didn't put a new line so VI get EMV dot C so let me just put a new line so it will make sense As you can see, that's what get env does. So we have to create something like get env, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'll say underscore get env dot c, right? So this is what we want to do. So I'll just include include my standard io dot h. I'll include my standard library dot h. So I want to. So it's going to return a character pointer, right? Uh, okay, I think we're given the prototype. Okay, underscore get env underscore get env and then a constant character pointer to a name right and so we want to create this and at the end we want to um, do int main right and oh, actually, I don't know if I should use it in the other one I'll just create it here Let's just create void main void right. So I just say my character pointer for home home value 
is equals to what we'll be creating underscore get env and see if it will work and then we'll pass it home right and then we'll print it out printer like that i think this with this we are even doing the second tax a bit but let's see let's do it like this and if that's the same thing for the other tasks we'll redo it in the video all right so we have a percent s right add a new line and we we'll have a comma and then this one will be home value right so with this we should be done with that and then we'll just put a space here okay so let us define what our get env function will be right so um, that will be that on that so for this one we will we'll, um, we'll need the overall um, what is it called overall environment variable and then there are so many ways to get environment we can get it through our main right we can get it through um, extend right extend and then character and then the pointer double pointer to environ right so we can do that okay so with this one this one is holding pointing to all the um environment variables so we we'll need that um so so now that we have all the environment variable we can use string talk to access them one by one right but before that i would have some declaration like int i to iterate through um, a loop and what else um since we are going to be using strict uh, string token we'll be getting our token as well right which is a pointer to a string and um, that's all so we'll just say while while okay while sorry this environ right or environ at um, index i so i'll set my i to be zero here my i is zero okay so what uh, environ at index i environ at index i will take the first strings right so to take the first um the first remember we print when we were doing the last task we did environ at index i printed all the variables right so basically um let me quit this where's that um function environ environ ls environ let's see yeah environ so env environ so when we did the environ is going to one of it is pointing at the whole of this right that is what environ is doing so let us clear and go back to where we were coming from um yes so that is that so since it is pointing at the hole so we are taking them one by one bit by bit right so until this one gets to null so i don't need to specify null there but you can if you want to anyway so the next thing i'm going to do is um now that we're getting the strings right so we can use um st string token right and say str talk and then the function right string talk is declared in standard um st include string dot h string dot h h h all right <laughs> i said h all right so string dot h and uh, string talk will collect two arguments which is the um, the first one which is environ right so we'll collect the environ at index that i so we are taking that string that short string right remember that we want to get the value right so we name and value 
and then they are separated with an equal to right so we we'll put our delimiter to be equal to right so our delimiter will be equal to like that so and then string token will return a string so we have a token so we have we say token equals to so uh, this token now will be holding the name right it will be holding the name so end so um so it will be holding the name so we'll just say if an if statement now then we use string compare string compare so we'll say if our uh, token which is this guy yeah which is the name is equal to the name here okay so we'll compare both if this guy and what's the name token and uh, name if they return zero it means it's successful right so it means we found it this while loop will continue so this one will be helping us getting the name right so this name will be compared with the name here right so if both are uh, return zero it means it's successful then we can have a um, to get the value right here so since we want to get the value here we can just say um, we can return it straight that it should return to the color uh, the value right it should return string talk which is going to be um, a, it's going to return like a the next guy so what is the next guy after the equal to right string talk and then we'll function and then um, so the next time will be null right so null comma and equal to so it's going to this one will hold return our value right so if that's been done mm, and then um we can have our i plus plus here okay so this guy would do this right if this guy is not the same thing our environment would increase to one right to check for one two to increase to increase to increase to increase like that so if not you should just um you should just um return null remember that uh, why i'm saying return null is because um if the name doesn't exist right if the name doesn't exist it is going to actually um, what's it called it is going to print out null right so that's why so if it doesn't it should return null so uh, what else um, I think we're done let's test this guy and see if it prints this guy so so let me GCC the output should be okay. I think we're correct. The output should be get my get env because I have get env. My get env and then uh, using the get env dot c. Okay, and by environ. Yeah, I miss I misspelled it there. V i or oh, let me just use this guy. Where is it? Where is it? Environ. Yeah, this guy. The wild loop. The wild loop has been spelt. Environ. And let's see. So it does compile. So that worked. And then my my get env. And then as you can see, we still have our root. Right? So that's been done and that's done so um basically that's it and then i'm going to see you in the next video